Yes, the Gnosis, the still legend comes with the Gnosis, this is on the wind walking monk, and this is episode 11. Of course, uh, I don't know exactly how many parts it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to see how many parts it is once I'm done with all of these. Because, I mean, like, if I do it shorter, you know, then, you know, like, the thing is gonna be, like, if I record 10 parts again, then that means that the parts are gonna go up on Thursday and Friday, and then I will probably let the voting continue on over the weekend. Because, you know, the voting has been up for a really long time, you know. And I really hope it's gonna be more than five, five votes, or, you know, that the end result is gonna end up being higher, you know, and, you know, like... If you're watching this and you haven't voted, you know, like, do please vote, you know, it really... Here's the thing, right, when it comes to the voting thing, like, if you vote now, for example, on a class that doesn't have a vote, then that means that you will have made it so that that class will be covered last in the ones that have gotten a vote for. So you can make it so that if there's a class you really, really want to hear about, you can do that. And even if you don't play all the classes, you can be like, okay, so I want to vote for this because, you know... Of this reason, or I want to vote for that because of that reason, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah. Wait. So you. Oh yeah, the pool of the paw. That's not that key. Okay. I know there is a way to get over there. Would have stayed. I remember actually going there at some point. I think you have to go a very specific way to go there because I don't think. I don't think there's like, like you can talk to an NPC or something to get up there, I don't think you can do that. And of course, if you check the brewmaster weapon out there, that's the hidden artifact appearance for that. So, I think there might be a way, because it's not there, because that just leads back to that. It might be here in the water area if I remember correctly, because there is a way to go up. Might be, we will see. But yeah. Anyway, let's continue on here then. So they go with power stacks. We haven't gone over any guys and brew. Shagging and any eye, thing, refilling all your energy and she. That's actually pretty, pretty decent. And to be honest, I believe any guys and elixir is actually very strong with the right game because of the fact that you refill all your energy and all your she right away. So, you know, when you have a certain thing up. Yeah, Serenity. I didn't use the round with Serenity, but Serenity is really good. Only this that you do 45% increase damage and healing and all she consumes are free and have a 50% for this cooldown. So you can spam your abilities when, when Serenity is up and that replaces Storm, Earth and Fire. And yeah. <sighs> of course I really like it when I rework Touch of Death, you know. And stuff like that, but I believe it doesn't work against raid bosses. They probably take a lot less damage and all of that. You know, yeah. But um, we uh, what? But that's not here. What? What the fuck was I thinking about? I was thinking about an area somewhere. You know. Hmm. Yeah, it's not here. It was a place that I was thinking about because I know that it's possible to get to the where does that I know it's possible to go around the outer edge and probably go there that way but I do remember that there were a way to actually get to it from kind of maybe it was from the singing pool somewhere uh, because I know uh, I remember having been on the second floor on that somehow you know so yeah But anyway, so yeah, <laughs> I haven't played a lot on Monk, you know, so Monk is the one I'm really, really uncertain on, on like what stuff is good on, you know, and stuff like that. There isn't just a way here somewhere and I'm like stupid and not seeing it. Because that's the path that you normally take from up there, you know. Maybe you can actually jump up here. Jump up! Nope. Maybe jump, jump her. Wait, that works actually. Wait, hang on here. Huh? Okay, so yeah, I can almost stand on. Hmm, that's curious. Okay, so where can I? Wait, what? Okay, so hmm. Uh, 
Wait, is there an invisible wall here? No. Damn. No, it doesn't seem like I can go. I thought first that you could go up here somewhere, but that doesn't seem possible. Might be that there's some silly way to get up here. That looks like it could work actually. Yeah, but then you have to hope that there's invisible walls here. I don't think there are. Mate. <laughs> oh, probably not. Well, it was like the whole like, operation aspect, like trying to figure out, okay, like, because in Doom Morog, I actually managed on my, on my level 1 twink, which, by the way, I'm actually, I have a guild shelter on that, so, if you're out there and watching this and you have made a level 1 twink, here's the thing, though, that, like, you're pretty much considered a twink, just if you have heirlooms on a level 1, and you lock your XP, so, you just, you know, make a level 1, you know, of your... Class of your choice, level one, you know. You can't be level two, you know, you have to be level one. And the thing is, you might be, but, but what's the point of thinking at level one? You cannot even queue up for BDGs. But that's kind of the whole point that at level one, a lot of classes are really, really, really bad. And like, there's absolutely no balance whatsoever, you know. And stuff that. Rogue exclusive pets, yeah. I mean, they can be worth quite a bit. If you don't have a rogue, you know, and stuff that's yes. Mm, I do believe there's maybe. Mm. I think it might be here somewhere. Or somewhere in the forest area, maybe somewhere when you were down here. That made you able to go there, you know. But I'm not certain if I remember it correctly. The weird thing is that the NPCs from out here have disappeared and stuff that like it could be cool if they could have left a few NPCs around because there were a certain place where you used to like learn professions and stuff that out here. But anyway, so let's continue on here. So at 60, I love leg sweep. It has what five second cooldown, knocks down all enemies within five yards, standing them for five seconds, which is actually pretty decent. I believe it's shorter duration of PP. And together with spare hand strike, which of course interrupt uh, uh, spell from being cast for four seconds, and um, it's a silence that has and cooldown. You can combine that with quaking palm. Quaking palm is basically like a racial gouge almost. So I start it with lightning speed, incapacitate them for four seconds, and turns off your attack. So that's basically like another interrupt you can use, which is for all Pandaren pretty much. And then of course you can also use. You know, leg sweep then, as I said. It's been nice that it's done. Some of Black Ox statue is pretty interesting. Some of Black Ox statue at the target location in 50 minutes. Pulsing threat to all enemies within 30 yards. So that's kind of bit... If you can tank with your character. Like if you are off tanking somehow as a windwalker. But you may cause provoke on the statue to taunt all enemies near the statue. But I still find it weird. Like why is it there for a windwalker? You know, why is it there? You know? No, binds when used. Oh, yeah, that's binds when used, you know. Nos. Nostra Orcus. God damn it. It's probably that sexy girl master. <laughs> no, but I like my blonde ass spanked. <laughs> He's still doing that. Except that's actually wrong. He didn't do it via mining because. Mining stops giving XP at some point, so you have to get herbalism, pretty much. Hmm. I wonder... Anyway, so, so yeah, so I don't know, you know, Black Sack statue, like... I mean, Dex, does the statue itself pull lag, or that's the thing I... I don't remember if it did or not, because here's the thing, like, from from the red of it, it's pulsing thing to a tall enemy, so does that mean that, for example, like, oh, you pulled... Too many mobs, and you want to have an easier time. Oh, then you just put down your block X, uh, black ox statue, you know, and stuff. 
Yeah, I know I can go on the side here. But I mean, that doesn't help getting you up there, does it? And I know that at certain places here you can actually take fatigue damage. If you go at too wrong or please. Dun 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 <laughs> Yeah, we're surfing. Yeah. The water looks pretty nice there. <laughs> the worst thing is, yeah, I see fatigue damage. But you're not out on the water, dun dun dun. Jump her, invisible force. <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting for like an airship jumping around. Yeah. Okay, okay, we can go up on the land here a bit. And you can see we can get into this forest here from here. I said we can. Okay, fine, I probably have to go down here, okay? Oh yeah, I thought it affected me there that it was pushing me down. Maybe it was. Yeah, who took But anyway, so yeah, um, uh, Ring of Peace is of course really, really interesting. The way it works out. 45 second cooldown. From a Ring of Peace at the target's location for 8 seconds, enemies that enter will be erected from the ring. So basically, you can make like a safe area. Where they cannot go through. That's actually really good in PvP, to be honest, the Ring of Peace. But the Leg Sweep is also a very, very good in PvP situation because you can be surrounded and you can just kick it and just get away. Like, that's something that's a big advantage of the monks in PvP is just their mobility. Like, their mobility is quite insane. Like, trying to get away from a monk is almost impossible. But this is kind of a problem with how to make a demon under and stuff like that, you know. I do think that actually monks should have been, uh, you know, like a hero class instead, you know, because much of but it wouldn't have made much sense. I do actually think it would have made much sense because you think about it, all all hero classes so far has been classes that have been like in Warcraft 3, but you're saying that it's just been in Warcraft 3 is kind of wrong because Death Knights were technically already in Warcraft 2, at least in the expansion bar on the Dark Portal, but those Death Knights were of course dead. Orc Warlocks, I believe they were. Because it wasn't like the first generation Death Knights, I believe, was dead paladins. Paladins who died pretty much bleh. And then they became Awa Pancake. But wait, couldn't I? Wasn't there a path that went there? I'm thinking otherwise that it might be like not here, obviously, but I believe there is a way up here so you can go a little bit further and stuff like that if you find the right part here. I believe there is kind of like a way up. Kind of, sort of, you know. Yeah, here we go, boom, boom, boom. Then you get here, then you have to jump here, I believe it is. Yes. Um, because I do remember actually going. Uh, because I remember like going to the Wood of Staves. Oh yeah, right now I remember how I did it. Because I did it back in the starting zone, back after like, after having done all the quests, I remember going back there. Because the thing is, there is a door to the Wood of Staves that locks after you have completed all the quests here. But then I got there by dying, I believe, but I don't know if the graveyard is moved. Because otherwise if you die out here, you're actually put into the Wood of Staves. If you die out here from like fatigue damage. But yeah, it's, it's quite expensive, but yeah. So yeah. So Ring of Peace is actually pretty good in PvP. Like that's the thing, like a lot of the more oh, more oh, yeah, I could use probably just go from out here, you know. And go from out here, you know. Oh actually you Oh wait, it wait this seems that you can just go up here in the mountains, you know. I said in the mountains. Damn it! I said in the mountains! <laughs> I said, Who are lightning you kicker? <laughs> Wait, no. I thought I would have momentum there. That probably could have worked if I would have kicked you in the face.